my dad had asked, oh, do you accept Amex? And I looked at him like, what? It's a different culture. It's a different way of banking, right? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you do not know me, my name is Jenna. I am a Canadian who has been living here in Germany since 2014. If you've watched any of my videos before or you're looking forward to watching this one, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more video content coming your way. Today I have something extra special for all of the internationals who are moving to Germany and that has to do with banking, opening up a bank account, doing it in the English language. We have so many questions jam-packed in this video today and I am meeting one of the experts over at Bunk. Running Life in Germany and running my Life in Düsseldorf blog, I know that expats always have so many questions and a lot of them are always the same questions constantly and of course tons of them are also regarding banking and so I actually put together a video that went through some of the tips and some of the things that people need to know before they actually plan on opening an account or a bank account but then also there's this huge lack of information regarding like just simple banking in Germany 101 and I think this is what we, we should call this video. It's nice for me to be able to share information to expats and what I've learned along the way and all of my culture shocks but it really gives something or says something when I'm able to have somebody who's really working in a specific field who I can ask questions and who can answer those questions so that it's not coming from me as an expat or an international but from the experts themselves. So I would love it if you would like to introduce yourself, where, what you're doing, who you work for, and yeah, a little bit of information before I drill you with questions. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, really happy that you invited me here. Um, so my name is Christian. I work as online reputation specialist at Bank. It's Dutch Neo Bank, working within the fintech industry, also helping expats opening bank accounts in Germany flawlessly, so to say. For me, I actually specifically asked you guys if you wanted to jump on the call because there are a number of excellent banks, and I think it's getting easier within like throughout Europe for internationals and for English speakers to open up a bank account, which is really nice. But Bank for me has really been uh, one of my favorite and has been at the top of my list because it's not only offering those basics where you're getting an English speaking service and a really easy functional app, but my favorite thing was the sub accounts. <laughs> and I, have, I have to say that that was like the first thing that sold me when I first saw Bunk was that I'm super organized and especially living in a foreign country, for me it was so important to be able to have multiple accounts. And in Canada, it's really easy to open an account. Um, so I opened up multiple accounts for different purposes. And then when I asked in Germany, I said, you know, I wanna have an account for like entertainment expenses or travel expenses or whatever and I want to have multiple accounts and they looked at me like I was crazy and they were like so do you need like a card for every account and I said no I just want to have them you know online so I can just kind of like drag and drop my money wherever need be so that I have some savings in different pots so to say and this kind of doesn't really exist in a lot of different banking um, apps or, or bank accounts here in Germany which was really frustrating and then one one day uh, one of my colleagues actually told me about it and he's German and he said oh my god you have to hear like you have to learn about this bank it's absolutely amazing so I checked it out and I really I fell in love the first time so I thought this is the perfect the perfect experts to have on the call today and to kind of talk about banking 101. So I guess our first question should definitely be the topic of cash is king. And depending on how much research somebody has done uh, when moving to Germany, cash is king is, like, is a common phrase that we use here in Germany because I think it's relatively true, but I would love to see uh, from your side of things, like what do you interpret from this and is it actually true that you're only allowed to use cash here and maybe not even in Germany, but around Europe as well? Yes, exactly. Well, um, cards are generally uh, getting more widely accepted across Europe uh, and more and more countries are adopting them. Germany is not exception to this. It is true that a lot of places in Germany do not prefer cards and they 
exclusively accept uh, cards for, for things like getting a bus ticket or purchasing a small item from a grocery store, you definitely need to have cash because they do require, they do have a minimum amount of goods that you need to buy in order to use your cards. So while cards are generally getting more and more spread and ex widely accepted across Germany, you definitely need to plan ahead and always have some cash in you in case you need to catch a bus or buy a croissant or yeah, yeah. <laughs> anything <laughs> like that. I ran into that issue all the time when I first got here. And the bus has gotten better, thankfully, but they still, there are some older buses that they still only accept coins, not even the bills, but the coins. And you really have to know that beforehand. And then uh, we eat döner a lot. So <laughs> whenever you go to a döner shop or a small Greek restaurant, they never, they never ac accept cards. How hard is it uh, to open up a bank account in Europe or in Germany without knowing the German language? Right now, there are new banks emerging with different acceptance criteria, which are actually more tailored to foreigners and generally uh, make it easier for them to, to register. Of course, it's, it is not mandatory to speak German, but many of the banks actually only have their uh, documents in German. And uh, it is really difficult to yeah, to understand all of their terms if you don't speak the language. But luckily, there are a lot of companies like Bank, for example, and other uh, FinBank uh, industry companies, which do have all their requirements described in English and are easily described and uh, accept accessible for foreigners and expats who want to register. Nowadays, it's becoming, I think, a lot easier. Um, there's still some branches or like actual branch location banks here in Germany. Uh, some of them say they speak English, but I think it just depends on the bank that or the branch that you go to. I know I had some difficulties with some of the branch locations here with some of the German bank accounts. And then that's when I switched to online banking, because I think for an English speaker in general who's living in Europe, online banking seems to be the way to go. It's just a lot easier. It's a very smooth process. And then when you need customer support, it's so important to have that in English. I also lived in Germany for a brief amount of time. I tried to reach out to customer support for my uh, TV supplier and so they were required to speak in German, yeah. but then I, I couldn't answer and then they couldn't help me at all. And I think people might face similar situations with banks. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's important to, to also have this into consideration yeah for sure. definitely when you're opening a bank account yeah definitely and i think whether whether it's a branch location or an online location a lot of them tend to require the same thing so do you have perhaps like a small list or a few things that you know that we as internationals need to provide or what kind of, of documents we might need to provide to actually open an account that also actually depends on the bank because the different banks and financial institutions essentially in Germany have set different criteria for accepting people to use their services. Some are more tailored to German people and some are more internationally oriented. Some of the, do the documents that are required are a passport, residence permit document, and then some of the banks might also ask for employment contracts or enrollment uh, letter from the university, pay slips and all sorts of stuff. However, uh, I can say for online banks that the main required documents are passports and residence permits. So for internationals, when they first move to Germany, we always enter this kind of uh, tangled web of confusion or error because Sometimes when you come here, you're looking for an apartment and you already need a bank account to be able to put a deposit on an apartment. And then once you have that apartment, then you have your address. So then you can actually go and register in the city and then go get your residency permit. So we always run into this error. So, I mean, now we know that we do likely require a residence permit to open up an account, but is there a way around this? Like, do you need that permit right away when you open an account? Like, do they ask you immediately to, to attach that and send it over before you can open the account? Also depends on the bank because some uh, more traditional banks require all of the documents right upon registration so on the day that you register your, for your bank account. But luckily, there are terms that are in favor of internationals. 
So for example, if you open an account at Bank, uh, you actually have up to 90 days to present your residence permit. So that's uh, sort of breaks this vicious cycle of needing a bank account for your apartment and needing an apartment for your bank account. Yeah. <laughs> It's really a vicious cycle, but that's good to know. So basically you don't need to open up that account so far in advance because I mean, there is this 90 day kind of leeway or this gap where you do have the opportunity to submit your documents from your residency permit. So within that amount of time, you can basically move here, get your residency permit and then send that over uh, in order to continue your bank account. But another interesting question would be what kinds of cards like credit cards or debit cards or whatever are most accepted uh, within Germany, perhaps? Yeah, so there are, uh, Germany is a very specific and limited market. In comparison to other European markets, it's quite limited in terms of the types of cars that they accept. So for example, if you're using American Express, not many places would actually work. Their, their payments terminals simply don't work with these systems. Mm -hmm. So I would say for purchasing goods in stores, uh, the best card to use is a MasterCard, for example, debit card. For online purchases, it's best to get a MasterCard credit card. Then that way you're covered for all your needs in Germany, basically. Yeah, definitely. And I think American Express, or we call it Amex in, in North America, is pretty much out of the question. I know like my family travels everywhere and they use their Amex for absolutely everything. And when they came here to Germany for the first time, they went to a small restaurant, which I think didn't even accept debit card. And they, my dad had asked, oh, do you accept Amex? And they looked at him like, oh, what? It's just so, it's a different, it's a different culture. It's a different way of banking, right? So um, I, yeah. I think debit card or maestro card is definitely the way to go. And for those who have never heard of maestro before, it, there's different terms. I believe the older term was, uh, you can say giro card or um, giro card or maestro, but it all boils down to being a debit card. So it's not a credit card, but it's a bank account essentially. And you would have that card associated with their account. So I know it takes like just a few minutes to open up an account at Bunk. It's super easy and online. Uh, when someone registers right away, do they get like a bank account number right away? So upon opening an account and verifying your identity with your passport, you immediately get a bank account. Yes. And okay. uh, you can order a card and already start planning your financial endeavors in the country. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, I say bank account number, but what's quite common in Europe or in Germany specifically is that this bank account number is actually called an IBAN number. So I-B-A-N. This is an entirely new term for many, many internationals. And coming from Europe, I think it might be best for you to explain what is an IBAN number and what does that mean? Yeah, basically what was the problem before IBAN was that the banking transactions within Europe were pretty much a mess. There were there was no universal uh, account numbering system in place. So a lot of the times the international bank transfers ended up in in the wrong accounts. So the European Union needed a system for this, and they introduced. IBAN, which stands for International Bank Account Number, and applies, applies to all member states of the European Union, uh, including Germany, of course. And it's essentially similar to other bank accounts in other regions of the world. So it makes it a lot easier, I guess, to make payments across or throughout Europe rather than just in Germany, which is really, really nice to have. And of course, uh, I always end our call or our video chat with the biggest question, and that is, as someone who's living in Europe, as a European yourself, do you have any tips for expats and internationals who are moving to Germany, whether that be banking related or just in general? I'd love to know. A few tips that pop up in my head are definitely make your appointment in the registration office or whatever applies to you as soon as you can, because that takes a lot of time and it could really be a lot of hassle. So the, the sooner you're done with this, the sooner you would be able to enjoy actually living in Germany. Get both Maestro and MasterCard because oh, having only one of them would not fully um, serve your needs there. And also it is very important to use budgeting options for when you move there. 
it's good to there are a lot of a lot of the online banks have features for uh, budgeting they automatically do the budgeting for you you don't have to uh, go through the pain of sorting out all your incoming payments and then all the expenses so definitely getting a bank that offers this option is great uh, head start because it might be a mess it's overwhelming you're moving to a new place and definitely needs something assisting you on, on your journey there <laughs> yeah definitely i think just yeah being organized and having everything clearly structured out and you really said that uh you mentioned a good point which is always always make sure that you go and register in the city and get that residence permit as quickly as possible because it really does ease a lot of of pain and error when you first move to germany and then being able to really organize your bank accounts and your structure and your whole plan living here in germany because otherwise it it can be messy but it can also be really really easy if people actually follow the right steps so thank you so 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 much for hopping on this call again uh, and for letting me ask all of these questions that are pretty much asked by every expat that comes my way on a daily basis so i hope that this video helps many many people and i guess if anybody has any more questions then of course they can always check out bunk.com right and um Perhaps, yeah, if they have any questions for me or for you, Hirschen, then uh, they can just leave it in the comment section below. And yeah. Thank you for having me.